So what comes next in the Barclays Premier League? So what comes next in the Barclays Premier League? Fourth place Chelsea host eighth placed Newcastle United. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. With me today, Alan Smith, and we've got a match from the Barclays Premier League for you. Yep, thanks, Martin. Delighted to be here, as I always am for these occasions. They haven't taken any notice, really, of this late transfer request in terms of leaving out the player. Alan, he's in the team today. Yeah, he is. I mean, the manager's got to do what's right for the team, and he obviously feels that he's worth a place, as disappointed as he'll be with this transfer request. And it's Chelsea today against Newcastle United. What a game this is at the start of the season. An away first day, but uh, back in front of their own fans who will be expecting a really strong push for the championship. And certainly, I'm expecting them to be vying at the top end of the table, but they're up against a team that uh, well capable for me of finishing a Euro League spot if they, uh, if they produce what they can. They're not going to trouble the silverware makers, but I think they can end up in a Euro League spot without question. And in charge today, the match referee, Chris Mumple. Colacini. Ben Arthur. Oh, and they're on the counter-attack here. And the shot's off. Oh, the keeper got a touch to it to make the save. Corner coming up for Chelsea. John Terry. Up he went for it in such a good position, given his aerial ability. Well, when he gets in those positions, normally you can say good night, but uh, a rare miss for him. Sheikh Chiote. Gutierrez. And Newcastle on the attack. Could have got hurt in that incident, but he jumped out of the way of the sliding tackle. A chance for back-to-back -back wins for the new manager, having been successful in his second game in charge. Here's game number three, and we need to take shape under him. I think so. I mean, there were signs that he's getting the players on side, and another win here, the crowd will be right behind him. Good ball. Kabai. Chelsea have got possession back. Now, here's a chance to get forward quickly. He's tried his shot from long range, and it's a block away by the defender. Lampard, and he's given that everything. Very good piece of blocking. Back on the ball now, Chelsea. Good pass. And it's going to be an attacking move, this from Chelsea. And he drives for goal, and it's a goal here. Well, that's terrific play for the goal. They've got too many players with vision out there for the opposition. So after the goal, we've opened the scoring here 1-0. Kabai. Real individual inspiration here, and the opponents come in strongly. Well executed. Promising piece of attacking play into nothing in the end and now the opposition have the ball back now the counter-attack could be on here it just knocks it past it it's a very audacious attempt from that far out it's one of the great sights of the game a quick counter-attack we've had one here and it just just failed to produce a goal yeah i mean you've got to give them credit for the way that they did create the chance and uh, if they can keep up that kind of tempo the way they move the ball forward it's uh, it's going to be positive for them Kabai. Now, here's a chance for a counter-attack. 
Can they make anything of it? So dangerous, and hits it. Oh, stop the shot, bravely. The goalkeeper, cool, let's get that out. And now they've got a corner on the attack again, the team that's leading by one goal. Stamford Bridge, the home of Chelsea, and has been strongly developed down the years to reflect the success that Chelsea have had. It's something to be proud of. Yeah, I think now they have developed it and made the, the stands close to the pitch. It's a better all round stadium in terms of atmosphere. And he's kept out the shot, it's still in play though. Saved again, and this time it's a corner. Very powerfully done, he's such an athletic defender, and he's got the ball away, and his teammates are applauding him for it. And it's with Newcastle again. Well, they've got the throw, and possession again. Frank Lampard, in it goes! <laughs> oh, that was a bit of panic, but he's got it away. Ashley Cole intervening there to good effect. Half-time is not that far away now. It's a half-time maybe of reassessment for Newcastle United. They find themselves on the wrong end of the scoreline. Gutierrez. Sheikh Chiote. Challenges for the ball. This is Cisa. He's in the clear, and it could be for Newcastle now. And it ends with this shot. They pulled it back level with this goal. That is a brilliant one-touch finish. And when you take it like that, Martin, the defender's got no chance, has he, to get a foot in? Well, that was the equaliser, and it's 1-1. Mikel. Abate. Tabai. So here we are at half-time, and it's 1-1. Well, this is very, very tight, and winning the ball and keeping it is two different things, really. That's why we've got an even share of possession. Yeah, they have... Uh... We've had plenty of the ball, but uh, you'd like to see a better end product from both sides in many ways. Dangerous here, Fernando Torres. Well, they could have done it, but it hasn't worked out that way. And it's Cisse. Strong tackle, John Terry. And he committed himself, and he made the right decision. Part for goalkeepers now, and that's a very good clearance from the goalkeeper. And it's uh, Frank Lampard. Abate. Some options on the bench for the home team. And the defenders. Here's the shot. He's made the save. It's still in play here. Cisse. Takes the shot off. Working hard try and get the goal that will put them into the lead. Well, 
we don't see it very often, but the manager is going for broke here. He's allowed three fresh faces, and here they come all at once. Raul Mereles. Good ball. Chelsea on the attack. And he's getting a pat on the back for that because that was brilliant defending in a difficult situation. Now it's a throw-in and a chance to keep going forward. Kabai trying to screen it against the challenge now. And Cisse. He's hungry for goals, no doubt about that. Keeps it going well. He's managed to get that away somehow. Demba Ba. In comes the challenge. Challenge made on the slide. Moving forward again. And Newcastle United. No, not this time. And the opposition come away with the ball. And in Dzeko. Newcastle go in and get the ball back. Santon. That's a good pass. He could have gone down, maybe got a free kick, but he wants to stay on his feet. That's good to see. He's got, and here's the shot, and they've scored, they've taken the lead. He took the low road here, the low route, and it was the right route to get this goal. Now it's a joy to watch that march in the way he took control of that ball in the crowded penalty area and slotted it into the bottom corner. Top class stop. Chelsea in front. And Danny Simpson. Good play by Ashley Cole to intercept. And that's good attacking play. Positive thinking from the players. Well, that's the end of the attack. Very abruptly. Now Mikel. Never have Newcastle needed goals more than they do need them now. Some players limbering up to the away team. Substitution in the offing. Want some assistance now. And there are players there to back him up. And he's got to get it away now. But he's found his teammate. Oh, unlucky. Well, we're running out of time here, but this match still very much in the balance. Well, ambitious, but the goalkeeper quite happy to deal with that. Not too many more attacks, I don't think. Very late in the game, the attack breaks down. Game has run its course here, and there's the final whistle. The manager will be very proud of this result and the way they achieved it with the blend of decent defending but really high quality attacking. Yeah, I mean, it was swashbuckling at times, wasn't it? The way they poured forward, and the opposition just couldn't handle them. Over now to give you the classified results. Thanks, Martin and Alan. The Barclays Premier League. Aston Villa won.